Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma and member of the High Powered Committee HPC on Friday informed that IIT Guwahati will carry out a third party audit to investigate the dome collapse incident at New Meghalaya Assembly Building at Mao Diang Diang, Shillong. A day after the State Congress Secretary in charge of social media, Manuel Badwar, on Thursday, alleged the new office building of the National People's Party is being erected without the approval of the Meghalaya Urban Development Agency. The National People's Youth Front, NPYF, has asked the Meghalaya Pradesh Youth Congress, or MPYC, to apologise for the allegations on Friday. According to Kit Borlang Nongrem, State President of the NPYF, the allegations made by the MPYC are childish statements devoid of truth and trying to mislead the people of the state. Moving on, the water supply project known as Renovation of Jowai Water Supply Scheme, which was sanctioned in the year 2003, was inaugurated on Friday by PHE Minister Reniktan L. Tongkar in the presence of Urban Affairs Minister Sneo Bhalangdhar, MLA from Jowai, Wailat Miki Shila and MDCs from JHADC, amongst others. The sanction amount for the scheme is Rs 15.41 crores under the NLCPR. During the day, foundation stones were also laid for Mi Mintudu Water Supply Scheme, amounting to Rs 32 crores and the Combined Klit Tarshi water supply scheme amounting rupees 24 crores. In a bid to expedite the process of restoring railway connectivity as early as possible, the Railway Department, along with the assistance of the Indian Army, has constructed a causeway at Maibang in Assam's Dimahasau district. The causeway will enable necessary materials, machinery as well, as railway workers to reach the areas for repair work of the damaged railway lines due to floods. TMC leader Ashish Das apparently upset over elevation of Subal Bhomik to the post of the party's Tripura unit president quit the Mamta Banerjee-led camp on Friday. The former BGP legislator from Surma Assembly constituency in Dhalai district, however, has not shown keenness on joining another party as yet. Seven army soldiers were killed and 19 others injured in Tuk Tuk sector of Ladakh on Friday when the vehicle they were travelling in skidded off the road and fell into the Shiok River, army officials said. The accident took place around 9am at a place that is around 25 kilometres from Thoise. The official said the vehicle fell into the Shiok River to a depth of approximately 50 to 60 feet from the road. In a major relief, Aryan Khan, son of Bollywood actor Shah Rukh Khan, has been given clean shit in the Mumbai cruise ship drugs bust case. A charge sheet was filed by the Narcotics Control Bureau before a special NDPS court in Mumbai wherein the name of Aryan Khan along with five others were not mentioned. A 6,000-page charge sheet has been filed by the Anti-Drugs Agency where it named 14 accused. However, the names of six, including Aryan and Mohawk, have been removed due to lack of evidence. The charge sheet said Aryan had not been found in possession of any drugs. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela.